we'll go back to Firewatch. It's me and my book, and I'm gonna climb down and find out. Bethany. Double I am book. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're going. Sorry? Yep. All the way forward. I'm gonna want to acquire all the. I wish you could put it in your backpack like you could the other shit. Yeah, this is probably like the gnome in Left 4 Dead where you have to actually carry it the whole way. <laughs> gnome Chomsky? Yeah. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. I mean, how hard like can that be to tear down? 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. I did say aliens, didn't I? Probably. Was oh, it a door? Yeah. I could just walk around it, too. I mean, a reasonable person could. Yeah. In a world without invisible walls. Mm -hmm. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Um, I, I've given it a good college try, I have no doubt. Bang, 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 bang. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. We'll put your dick away. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And I want you to look up that U.S. code. 18. 1863. 18 U.S. Code, 1863, question mark. I'm very curious who's who's putting up this sign. Hold on, I'm on it. Thank you. I don't got no map, so I just got a land there. This is where it came from. Look, go away from me here. South of the Ruby River. Oh, it's past my little lookout. Okay. I can just follow Thunder Canyon then. Okay, here it is. 18 U.S. Code 1863. Uh, trespass on national forest lands. Whoever without lawful authority or permission goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to public pursuant to lawful regulation of the Secretary of Agriculture mm. shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than six months or both. Ah. Uh, good to know. So it's just national forestry business. At it, May 24th, 1949. <gasps> Good old national forests. Mm. Good old Roosevelt, the druid president. Yeah. With his bear companion. And his Sasquatch hunt. Hmm. I would love to be on a presidential Sasquatch hunt. I'd love to meet the presidential Sasquatch. Presidential Sasquatch hunter? Because that was Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> oh, the joys of Teddy Roosevelt. Mm. I saw a good name for a cat with a, one of those six-toed cats, the polydactyly ones. Oh, yeah? They, they called it Freddy Toesavelt. That's amazing. Yeah. Good old Reddit. <laughs> so full of pet names. I think I can go this way. I remember once for a grade school project, we had to either dress up as a historical figure or a figure from a book. And that was like when Harry Potter just said come out. Not the movie, like the books actually just started coming out. So like, there was a couple Harry Potters, there was like one or two Sherlock Holmes. Meanwhile, I took the historical route and showed up a steady goddamn Roosevelt. It's better than Problem Bear. Yeah. Good choice. That might have been his bear. Ah, uh, I would have wanted hey, to go as Taft. <laughs> He only flow with my costume is I couldn't find pants large enough for the balls I would have had to put in them to the properly right. emulate Teddy Roosevelt. Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing. 
Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, w what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe someone tapped into the frequency? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. But twist one of no, those little knobs? I'm not. Yeah. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> Definitely keeping this book. I like this pink skull. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened, it'd be a great party that could feel and saw it. Just don't got a computer. Nice gun is being a bad man. <laughs> Pessimistic yeah, versions of songs. Oh. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, tree, you fell down. It's a Disney night. Yeah, I should probably trim back the brush around my tower. We need a chainsaw. Or an axe. I feel so much safer with a chainsaw or an axe. Preferably an axe, because it's stealth. True. Chainsaw's got that great fear factor, though. Mm -hmm. Someone will appreciate that in the future. Did you just throw a book inside a book? Yes, you did. The Patriots, eh? Lolly lolly lo. Alright, uh. Okay. Yeah, Turt Reynolds. <laughs> so upbeat. Yeah, hey, Turtles always look happy. Yeah. Come on, Turt. Hey. Forgot that. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving on. <laughs> Can't open the desk for <gasps> Another book! Eatled the hard way. What do you mean? I don't know, but I think you're starting to get almost all the books. You're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. If judging based on the size of your bookshelf is all of the books. That's true. Ever. Uh oh. Well, oh the yeah. Flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out. Not yet, apparently. Well, at, at least they delivered on the title. Yeah, there was a fire to watch. It's and they did exactly that. Oh, <sighs> mission accomplished. That's an arc. Good game. Pack it, ship it, print <gasps> it. Yes. Print it preferably first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way. Okay. Up, 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 up. Looking forward to hiking more. Colorado's out of control with hiking. <coughs> mm -hmm. I always look forward to your Colorado trips because you come back with bottles and bottles of mead. That's true. They have a lot of meteries out in Colorado, and I always invest. I'm like, yeah, I'll spend $150 and just bring that much amount of wheat mead back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> Whoops! No, but the mead, like, they have a lot of bees, and the mead out there is delicious. Yes, it is. Oh, that, one, that one you always get, that hoppy mead that tastes almost like a champagne. Mm hmm It's fantastic. It's like a fizzy mead. Yeah. Oh, I Garden of the Hops the from Redstone. I can hike right through here now. 
Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks uh, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh! I see what you did there. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Dave. Oh, is that from Ron? I mean, is that too Ron? That's from Ron. Oh, yeah, that's too Ron. Too Ron from Dave. The quiet background story of these two gentlemen. <laughs> Damn it, there's too much stuff. What do I take? Oh man. Why can't you put them in your backpack? It's killing me. It gives Mr. Turt Reynolds something to walk on. I'll be back for these. Give me a guitar. I mean, clearly someone put a lot of love and effort into making a bunch of books, writing a background, a piece on the back, and drawing up interesting cover art. Mm -hmm. Scout camp is to my left. To the east! Playing yourself, wrecked snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Bond. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Port Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Port Pond. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. Obviously. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or... Says someone who's stolen at least five of them. <laughs> She's got all of them. She just has a series of them up yeah. on the wall. <laughs> Labeled by year. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware <laughs> weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Ooh. The bridge to the camp is I just out. often beware of large numbers. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Can I just blurt down? Let me ask my man. Can I break your legs? Nice. Oh, that's Camp Arapaho, don't you try to stop me. Try to stop me. Try to stop me. Broken ankles. Yeah. I think I would have gotten strong enough to climb back up some of these drop offs, but here I am. Stuck. Yeah. Damn the helicopter, I'm stranded. Limits, Henry. Here's broken bread. Purple. It had to label that for me. <laughs> I wouldn't have known it otherwise. <laughs> Where the hell's the flapjack fire? You ever talked to any of the scouts? Opposite direction of you, I think. No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. <laughs> what type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns. Yeah! <laughs> oh. I don't play wizards <laughs> and wyverns. I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Henry, how dare you? Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. 
for the past 35 Ooh, years. Yeah. I keep hearing weeaboos. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Bears go in here. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, Richard that's Sturgeon. That's, that's a creepy it's all the same coming. author. Prolific. Very prolific author. Was he an author living out of here, do you think? Maybe. Printed up his own pictures, just glued them to a cover of a book, and uh, hid them all around the forest. Keep thinking I'm seeing. To oh, that's the campfire. Yeah. <laughs> I am a dire critic. <laughs> Just yeah, gonna put the book down off and over in the page and take a shit in it. Damn. Yes! Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Oh yeah, maybe you can use it to cut through the, uh, the brambles. Hey D, they left mm -hmm. something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. That say anything of note? Hmm. Uh... Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always the shadow bothers me. me <laughs> They're running a research site out there. Where is the shadow I'm coming from? Wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. Okay. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that! Agreed! I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> That's what they're concerned about. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Like how you full-ass baseball swing to the bramble. Mm hmm Alright, next time on Game Over, guys, we return to Lopity Meadow! <laughs>